Hi, I'm Andy Weinberg with Miller Welders. Today we're in Everett, Washington at Joe's Racing Products. Joe, tell us what you do here. Well, we manufacture a lot of components for the racing industry, a lot of tools, fittings, suspension components, anything that makes your race car go faster. Today's project, we're going to be welding one of Joe's jack stands. It's made out of aluminum, and we're going to be using the Synchrowave 210 TIG MIG Complete. We're going to actually use the spool gun to tack the jack stand together, then we're going to be switching it over back to the TIG process, where we'll finish TIG welding the entire jack stand. Before we can plug the spool gun into the Synchrowave 210, however, the first time we go to set it up, we need to change the end that it comes with. The Spoolmate 100 comes set up, ready to plug into a MIG welder. In order to plug it into the Synchrowave 210, we have to change the end to put the quick disconnect end on it. To connect the Spoolmate 100 to the Synchrowave 210, I'm going to connect the adapter cord to the trigger lead assembly of the Spoolmate 100, remove the foot pedal control cord from the Synchrowave 210, and insert the adapter cord where the foot pedal control cord was. We're going to remove the TIG torch connector from the front of the Synchrowave and insert the connector for the Spoolmate 100. Then we're going to insert the MIG program card into the SD option slot on the front of the Synchrowave 210 so we get our MIG program. Select the MIG setting from the process selector switch and then we're going to hold down the menu button for a couple of seconds until you access the hidden menu screen. Now we can select our wire size, in this case we're using 035 wire. Press the button one more time and we're working with eighth inch material thickness so I'm going to turn my knob to eighth inch and press the menu button one more time and it selects the gas that we need. We are going to be using 100% argon which is going to be for our aluminum. To get out of the hidden menu screen, hold the button back down for a couple seconds and it goes to menu off. Notice it preset the welding parameters for us. It set it at 20 volts at seven on the wire feed speed control. We've got the Synchrowave 210 changed over to the MIG process and the spool gun. Joe, tell us a little bit about the materials and how we're gonna do this one. Okay, the sides here are made out of 50-52, eighth inch aluminum, and then we have a top pad here that's an inch and a half, 60-61 aluminum, and the feet are also 60-61 aluminum. We're gonna start by taking the spool gun and we're gonna be tacking the insides of the outer pieces. Then we're gonna flip this thing upside down, continue tacking a few places on the inside, change the sinker wave back over to the TIG process and finish TIG welding all the outside edges, top piece, along with the foot pads. Now that we've got a spot welded together, we're gonna take this dedicated stainless steel brush and we're gonna clean up the welds and we're gonna clean up the joints. Now that we have to get ready for our TIG welding process, I'm going to need to disconnect the spool gun from the Synchrowave and reattach the TIG torch. We switched the Synchrowave 210 back over to the TIG process. We have switched over the standard WP17 head to a WP9 head. The WP9 head is smaller, allows us to get into tighter areas, and use the standard collets, collet bodies, and gas lenses that we normally use on our water-cooled TIG machines. We're now going to tack the top piece on, we're going to weld down the sides, then we're going to take it and put it in a fixture and weld the foot pads on, and we're going to use 332nd 5356 filler metal using 100% argon gas. Now that Joe's finished welding the main assembly together, it'll get set in this fixture so that he can weld the foot pads onto the main frame. One difference, Andy, is that these are actually quarter inch thick aluminum also. 
Being that it's quarter inch material, we're going to have to turn the welding machine up from 180 amps, which we welded the frame together, all the way up to 210 amps. So Joe has enough power to weld the quarter inch material to the eighth inch frame. Now that we're done welding it, we let it cool down and we bolt it on a urethane top pad. And uh, so there you have it, lightweight aluminum stackable jack stands. For more information, go to joesracing.com. And for this project, we used the Syncowave 210 TIG MIG Complete. We started with the Spoolmate 100 and then we switched over back to the TIG process using the standard TIG torch, but we changed over to the WP9 head with a gas lens. For more information on the Syncowave 210, check out millerwelds.com.